Somebody asked me today, Phil, if you could be anywhere in the world, where would you like to be? And I said to him, probably right here, Alco, Nevada, our nation's high at 79 today. Out in California, they're going to have some warm weather tomorrow, gang wars, and some very overpriced real estate. Up in the Pacific Northwest, as you can see, they're going to have some very, very tall trees. It's going to be clear across the Rockies and the Great Plains mostly, but look out, here comes trouble. Oh boy, front coming our way. Look out, what's that going to mean to us here in the Three Rivers area? One of these big blue things, this cold, frigid Arctic air, this big mass coming out of the north. It's going to meet up with all of this moisture coming up out of the Gulf, going to mix together at high altitudes and cause some snow. Going out on a limb now, not going to hit us here in Pittsburgh, going to push off and hit Altoona. <sighs> Close call, folks. Let's take a look at the five days. As you can see, nothing to be too scared about. Bundle up warm, of course, but I think you can leave your galoshes at home. I'm not going to be here for the 10 o'clock. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and I'm going out to Punxsutawney for our country's oldest groundhog festival. So, as you know, according to the legend, tomorrow, February 2nd, if the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. So keep your fingers crossed. Huh? Sounds like a lot of fun. You must really enjoy it. This is your third year in a row, isn't it, Phil? Four, Nan. Four. Thanks. Up next, entertainment editor Diane Kingman looks at sex and violence in the movies. Stay with us. Working. Fun in Puxatawney, Phil. For your information, Hairdo, there is a major network interested in me. Yeah, that would be the home shopping network. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Go eat in the van, will you? That was nice, Phil. <laughs> Big trees. <laughs> Stop, Penny. Look, can you handle the 10 or not? Yeah, okay. yeah. L listen, if for any reason you don't want to rush back, I, I can do the 5 tomorrow. Oh, come on. I want to stay an extra second in Punxsutawney, please. Look. Rita thinks it would be a great idea to stay around for some of the other events, you know, get some incredible footage. The people and the fun, the excitement. You haven't worked with her yet, have you? She's really nice. I think she's going to be a really good producer. <laughs> you guys are going to have fun. Mm -hmm. She's fun, but not my kind of fun. I will be here for the five. Rita! Can you keep a secret, Larry? I'm probably leaving PBH, so this will be the last time we do the Groundhog together. I don't understand what's wrong with the Groundhog Festival. You know, when I worked in San Diego, I covered the Swallows returning to Capistrano six years in a row. Someday somebody's going to see me interviewing a Groundhog to get on of the future. I think it's a nice story. It comes out. He looks around. He wrinkles up his little nose. He sees a shadow, he doesn't see a shadow, but it's nice. You are Udo, aren't you? You know, people like blood sausage, too. People are morons. Nice attitude. I want you to look in the mirror and see what you look like when you do that little ground thing, okay? For me, let's little count it out. Hey, dear, you look in the shadow. Would you like some blood sausage? I have some here in the blood. I like blood sausage. I can't stay here. Oh, prima Donna. What's the matter, Phil? I hate this place. I stayed here two years ago. I was miserable. It's a flea bag. I'm not staying here. You're not staying here. I'm not. No. Larry's just dropping me off. I booked you in a very nice bed and breakfast in Cherry Street. Great. You know, I think this is one of the traits of a really good producer. Keep the talent happy. Anything I can do? Would you help me with my pelvic tilt? <laughs> Within reason. Would you like to come to dinner with Larry and me? No, thank you. I've seen Larry eat. <laughs> oh, no. You get your sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Don't be late. Did he actually call himself the talent? <laughs> Weather Service is calling for a 
big blizzard thing. Yes, yeah. they are. But you know, there's another reason why today is especially exciting. Especially cold. Especially cold. Yeah. Okay. But the big question on everybody's lips. Yeah, they're chap lips. On their chap lips, chap right. Lips. Do you think Phil's going to come out and see his shadow? Punks a Tony Phil. That's right, Woodchuck Chuckers. It's Groundhog Day. Get up and check that hog out there. Yeah. Ooh, he's too come here, Groundhog. Morning. Morning. You out to see the groundhog? Yes, I am. Do you think it's going to be an early spring? I'm predicting March 21st. <laughs> Good guess. You know, I think that actually is the first day of spring. <laughs> Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? I slept alone, Mrs. Lancaster. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? I don't suppose there's any possibility of getting an espresso or a cappuccino this morning, is there? Oh, I I really don't know. Um, How to spell espresso or cappuccino. This looks fine. I hope you enjoy the festivities. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm glad. There's, uh, there's talk of a blizzard. Well, we may catch a break, and that blizzard's going to blow right by us. All of this moisture coming up out of the south, by midday, is probably going to push on to the east of us. And at high altitudes, it's going to crystallize and give us what we call snow. Probably be some accumulation. But here in Puxatawney, our high is going to get up to about 30 today. Teens tonight, chance of precipitation about 20% today, 20% tomorrow. Uh -huh. Did you want to talk about the weather, or were you just making chit chat? Chit chat. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. Phil? Hey, Phil? Phil? Phil Connors? Phil Connors, I thought that was you. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Hey, hey. Now, don't you tell me you don't remember me, because I sure as heck fire remember you. Not a chance. <laughs> Ned! Ryerson! Needle nose Ned, Ned the head. Come on, buddy. Case Western High. Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Ned Ryerson got the shingles real bad senior year, almost didn't graduate. Bing! Again! Ned Ryerson, I dated your sister Mary Pat a couple times till you told me not to anymore. Well? Ned Ryerson? Bing! Bing! <laughs> So did you turn pro with that belly button thing, Ned, or...? Uh... No, Phil, I sell insurance. What a shock. Do you have life insurance? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. Ned, I would love to stand here and talk with you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Hey, that's all right. I'll walk with you. You know, whenever I see an opportunity now, I charge it like a bull. Ned the bull, that's me now. You know, I got friends of mine who live and die by the actuarial tables, and I say, hey, it's all one big crap shoot, anywho. Tell me, have you ever heard of single premium life? Because I think that really could be the ticket for you. Oh, God! It is so good to see you. Uh, what are you doing for dinner? Something else. It's been great seeing you, Needlehead. Take care. <laughs> Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy! Hey, Phil! Phil, over here! Where have you been? It was horrible. A giant leech got me. You're missing all the fun. These people are great. Some of them have been partying all night long. They sing songs till they get too cold, and then they go sit by the fire, and they get warm, and then they come back and they sing some more. Yeah. They're hicks, Rita. So... Sleep okay without me? You tossed and turned, didn't you? We're incredible. Who told you? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm in three, two, one. Once a year, the eyes of the nation turn to this tiny hamlet in western Pennsylvania to watch a master at work. The master, Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous weatherman. The groundhog, who, as legend has it, can predict the coming of an early spring. So I guess the question we have to ask ourselves today is, does Phil feel lucky? Then it's the same old shtick every year. The guy comes out with a big stick and raps on the door. They pull the little rat out. They talk to him. The rat talks back. And then they tell us what's going to happen. Oh, look at these kids. 
Do you like your guys with the prominent uh, upper teeth? No. This February 2nd, 7, 20, and 30 seconds, Punks at Tawny Phil, the seer of seers, prognosticator of prognosticators, emerged reluctantly but alertly in Punks at Tawny PA and stated in brown hoggies, I definitely see a shadow. <laughs> This is one time where television really fails to capture the true excitement of a large squirrel predicting the weather. I, for one, am very grateful to have been here. From Punxsutawney, this is Phil Connors. So long. Okay, we'll try it again without the sarcasm. We got it. Be Madonna's. Take a look at this. What is going on? I don't know, Phil. Perhaps it's that giant blizzard we're not supposed to get. This is impossible. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Nobody wants this horn with me, okay, pal? Hey, Commander, what's going on? There's nothing going on. We're closing the road. Big blizzard moving in. What blizzard? It's a couple of flakes. Don't you listen to the weather? We got a major storm here. I make the weather. Oh, this boy's trick coming up out of the golf is going to push out to the east and then I'll do it. Now, you got that whisker on your head. Now, you can go back to Pucks Tony, or you can go ahead and freeze to them. It's your choice. So what's it going to be? I'm thinking. Come on. All the long distance lines are down. What about the satellite? Is it snowing in space? Don't you have some kind of a line that you keep open for emergencies or for celebrities? I'm both. I'm a celebrity in an emergency. Can you catch me through on that line, please? Could I have one more of these with some booze in it, please? Oh, I like it here. Phil, you going to the groundhog dinner? No, I had groundhog for lunch. It wasn't bad. It tastes like chicken. You two run along. Wow. Looking foxy tonight, man. Hey, uh, is your troop going to be selling cookie skin this year? <laughs> That's so funny, Phil. So what are you going to do? Uh, I think I'm going to go back to my room and take a hot shower and maybe read and hustle or something. Suit yourself. Yo, Mom, isn't there any hot water? <laughs> oh, no, there wouldn't be today. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. What's going, boys? You're playing yesterday's tape. See the groundhog? Yeah. I think it'll be in early spring. <laughs> Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. No! Don't mess with me, poor chop. <sighs> what day is this? It's February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? Did I sleep well? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. I think I'll have a double. I hope you enjoy the festivities. There's talk of a blizzard. Do you ever have deja vu, 